Eyewitness News is covering the economy now. A new arrival on Rhode Island's retail scene has a very familiar name. L.L. Bean is set to open its first store in Cranston Friday, bringing about 100 jobs. The company's CEO sat down today with WPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi for a taping of Executive Suite. And Ted joins us now with the interview, new at 530. L.L. Bean already has a store in Mansfield, but the Northern New England retailer's leader tells me he wants to make sure its presence is felt in Southern New England. L.L. Bean has been selling to Rhode Islanders for many years, mostly through its catalog and website. But on Friday, the company embarks on a new bid for local shoppers' dollars with the opening of its first Rhode Island store at Cranston's Garden City Center. We send our real estate team out with that data, looking in different markets um, as to where there are opportunities where we don't have a physical presence. Um, Rhode Island's been on the wish list for a long, long time. It's the 28th store Ella Bean has opened under an expansion of its brick-and-mortar retail operations. CEO Stephen Smith argues the strategy still makes sense even in the Internet age. You need to be everywhere that a customer wants to be, and that means you must have an e-commerce platform, you must have a mobile platform, and there are a lot of customers who want a physical retail presence. They want to be able to touch and feel a product. And we are vastly more successful, even in our online business, when we have a physical presence in that same market. Smith took the top job at L.L. Bean last year, only the fourth CEO in the history of the family-owned business. When you're working for a company that's 104 years old, we don't make short-term decisions, and the family doesn't put pressure on the business to make short-term decisions. The goal is to stay a viable business for as many generations to come as possible. L.L. Bean has announced a number of special promotions for its grand opening weekend in Cranston, including free gift cards for the first 200 customers. Ted Nisi, Eyewitness News.